Shakalaka O'Clock. Yes, it is on a Friday. It's great to be here and I'm feeling good. How about you? I'm feeling great. You know, you can be feeling bad all day long, but come closing time or quitting time, especially mm -hmm. for you essential workers. And we say boom shakalaka, it's got to feel real good. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Welcome to Ms. Rocky and Shaviva Live, because you know there's always something good happening on the North End. And everywhere else in the Cedar Valley. And everybody knows this by you now. You know it. That's right. And if you're not here, then you're virtually square, because we're hoping that you are virtually here with us, because this is the place to be today. Mm -hmm. We got Vera Wallican. Yes. Minister, Reverend. Um, what else is she? She's an extraordinary. The Vera Wallican. How the about that? The Vera Wallican. Okay. And she's so gracious and kind. Yes. She's joining us to talk about the Celebrate Sisterhood um, virtual event that we'll be having this week. And we're actually um, the MCs or the hosts or the... Right. So if you wanted to know more information about that, it's your lucky day because the person who can give you all that information is joining us in just a few minutes. Yes, yeah. and Shaviva, first we're going to ask, because, you know, we got, uh, we got copies of Ropes in the Kitchen to give away today. So we're going to ask our Margo's Waterloo Proud question right off top here so we can get people chiming in to find out. That's what Joyce, she's always on time. She'll probably be the winner again. That's right. Okay. And you'll get a copy of the book called Ropes in the Kitchen. Mm -hmm. And what is our question? Shavita? Our question this week is, who was the first black radio disc jockey on a 50,000 watt station in not only Iowa, but the entire country? He was also credited with being the first black taxi cab driver and wow. first black deputy sheriff in the county. Wow. Uh -huh. How about yes. that? Yes. Oh, <laughs> there's a picture of him. Okay. So, so if you can find out who that is and let us know ASAP, <laughs> you are the winner. <laughs> exactly. And Agnes has those pictures sitting up there real good and pretty. Yes. Yeah, he's a handsome man. He is passed on now. Mm -hmm. But he and my dad were very, very good friends. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, yes. So please make sure you answer that question and you will get a copy of Ropes in the Kitchen. Yes, I'm going to say congratulations to last week's winner, yeah. Janice Durham. Yeah, there she is. Right. Okay. And we really like these um, questions that Margot comes up with, and she's one of our Waterloo Proud historians. We're going to get some others involved as well, but... Thanks for playing along with us, folks. Yes. And good luck finding out who that is. Okay. We will be taking your answers here in just a little bit. But we want to talk about what's new, Shaviva. Hey, like we just said, um, the Celebrating Sisterhood is having a women's conference by way of Zoom on Saturday, October 31st. The title is My Presence Has Purpose, My Purpose Has Power. And we are going to get into that a lot more in just a little bit. Yes. And then, of course, India's Fraye Runway. Yes. That's new. And um, we started out just messing around in the backyard after our critique meetings, and all of a sudden now, India thought we should have some of the designers, yeah. local shop owners. So if you have a boutique or mm -hmm. you have some clothes, if you knit, you sew, you paint shoes or whatever, you yeah. want to show it off. Give us a call. We'd love to have you. Yep. Last week, our guest was um, Shante Wallican. Yes. Okay. Nesbitt. Wallican Nesbitt with her um, Lux Life Fashions. And our guest this week is going to be Blaine Scott with uh, Loud Boutique. Loud Boutique. Yeah. And last week, I made a purchase. I bought some sunglasses, some really funky sunglasses. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And I think we have some comments. Comments, yeah. On the Rocky page, uh, Terry Smith is guest is Herbert Cox. Oh, yes. Wow. Well, cool. congratulations. Okay, oh. She was the first one. Terry Smith also commented, but she got, she was second. Oh. Uh, Terry Smith. All right, Mr. Herb Cox. Oh, no, it's the same. Oh, it's bo okay. okay. All uh, right, Terry. Twice, so Super. She wanted to make sure she got that one. All right. Awesome. Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Yes, you'll have to come pick up your copy of Ropes in the Kitchen at my house, or I can certainly deliver it socially distanced and safe, which reminds us that we are being safe today. Yes. 
We have our mask, mm -hmm. and mine just happens to say Travis Ferguson Real Estate. And mine just happens to say Boom Shakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of Travis Ferguson Real Estate, that's one of our quick announcements is that they are expanding and doing quite well, and they have um, some great plans coming up that you'll want to stay tuned for. He's uh, been looking for um, agents here in this area, and I think mm -hmm. he's hit the jackpot. So be watching for an announcement soon, and uh, we always want to shout out to Travis Ferguson, and he also just hired uh, Chevis Keller. Oh, so wow. they're doing okay. a lot in, in Des Moines, Cedar Rapids, Waterloo, so check them out. And there's proud supporters of Ms. Rocky and Shaviva Live. Okay. What um, else, Shaviva? We okay. got the Waterloo Chains agents, and then we want to talk about the Grout Museum. Why don't you? Yeah. The um, Waterloo Change agents, um, that's going to be a site for you to keep up with, to be informed about what's going on with community events, um, fundraisers, webinars, marches, peaceful, peaceful protests, or whatever. So um, it's just good to have another source of information to keep you in the know. Right. Yeah. Still got time to watch that video with the debate with Tony Thompson and uh, Dan and Trelka. And Dan Trelka, yes. That is a must see. Mm -hmm. I, like I said, the, the young, the women that did those the, were the moderators. I think Yeshi Abebe yes. did a great job, and the other, and mm -hmm. the questions from the panel were just excellent. Their tempers got a little flared and heated, so it's always but fun that, to But that happens when people are passionate about what they're passionate about, right? That's so, right, yeah. that's right. So check that out. We'll share it again on our wall. Um, Daquan Campbell, Shaviva. Yep, he's running for County Agricultural Extension Council, and it just seems like a perfect fit for him, um, given his involvement in the way he's really brought things forward with the urban farmers market. So a lot um, of responsibility on yes. his shoulders. And you gotta I felt so bad for him. Last year we were there. This year, not so much because mm -hmm. of COVID. We just kind of stick around our house and stay. I think local. that had most people sort of laying a little bit low, but right. Hey. But we know that um, it did as well as it could with you know mm -hmm. due to the circumstances our last announcement is strolling with the spirits which is yes. going to be october 31st mm -hmm. um, at 10 a.m and it's a virtual one and i'm mm -hmm. going to be portraying my dear grandmother gwendolyn hickey who was maybe the first or one of the first black nurses in LPN in Waterloo back in the 1960s. Wow. That's so, yeah, and there's a graphic for yeah. a virtual strolling with the spirits. So we'll be all, oh, we forgot the microphone, Shaviva. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank la, la, you la, so la, la. much, Ed. Better Jeez. late than never. Thank you, Ed. Right, and we were even early today. Thank you. They were having trouble hearing us, I bet. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. So glad to have Ed. Mm -hmm. So Strolling with the Spirits, make sure you check it out. I will be my grandma Hickey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it will be a lot of fun. Yep, that really is a very interesting um addition to uh, learning some new stuff about Waterloo, um, the whole Strolling with the Spirits event. It's just, uh, it's nice. I mean, you know, you, you think some, when people, I don't know, some people tend to have sort of a one note idea about graveyards or whatever, but that's, that's history. Right. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people celebrate, not celebrate Halloween, but yeah, celebrate Halloween. Um, and it's kind of in line with the you know, scary part of the cemetery. And we have a guest coming up close to Halloween that, uh, is that working now? Oh. Still no. There it ah, is. Oh, all right, my. success. Ed. Thank you there so much. <laughs> She's laughing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're having fun here. It's, yes. There you go. Now we got it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> he dropped his phone. All right, folks, y'all know, know how we do. So We hey. love you, Ed. Thank you. And we love you, Agnes, for laughing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But check that out. And yeah, Strolling with the Spirits is great. Mm -hmm. I love, we actually both participated. And your husband, Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
So we'll keep that posted on our wall as well. Well, hopefully you didn't miss the whole half, first half of our show when we didn't have our microphone plugged in. Okay. But here we are. That's all right. Yeah. Can you hear us now? How do you do? Yes. <laughs> and fortunately, our sound situation is straightened out just in time. Right. Mm -hmm. For our beautiful guest. We're going to invite Reverend Vera Wallican on to Enjoy. our set. Welcome, right. Vera. Welcome and thank you. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, Hi, beautiful. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for the invitation. Oh, you're so I'm welcome. Excited to be here. Yeah, we often um, love to have you on. Like you said, usually you have we've had you on our pre-show before, but we've never had you as a real guest. So, right. As a guest, we just want to say welcome. Thank you. I've arrived. I'm at the number one daytime talk show. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> I have. Thanks. I've made it. Wow. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Vera. Well, you know, they kind of do say we're the best show on Facebook. Oh, yes. So. <laughs> Whoever they are. Who they are. Thank you so we much. We love you, right. <laughs> You're probably our binge watchers, right, on YouTube. Maybe so. Well, we have you here just in time. We're going to talk a little bit. Of, uh, we have a segment called Give It Air, and we sometimes like to ask our guests, you know, their thoughts on this. And you being a black woman, I mm -hmm. think that you might be able to identify with it. Shaviva. Right. And um, basically what we were going to touch on today was uh, representation matters. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that are just the norm mm -hmm. in, in society. And sometimes you don't think about it. You don't think about it until you think about it. Right. For example, um, we were talking earlier today about things like maybe you want to give somebody a greeting card mm -hmm. and it's got just the right sentiment and everything. Maybe it's a Father's Day, Mother's Day or whatever. You would like to see someone on that card that looks like you. Yes. And of course, those things have changed a, a little bit mm -hmm. over time, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Well, even when our kids were small, I remember having a hard time finding a black doll. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, you, we're not that old, are we? I mean, um, but, I'm not. No, no, <laughs> me either. But back in, like, when I was growing up, there were no black hair care products. I remember mm -hmm. um, Powell's Ebony Shop was the first person, the first store where we could actually go that in my neighborhood or mm -hmm. anywhere close to buy anything you know, for ethnic or black hair. Mm -hmm. And so, and we were talking, I used to use a, a fork to pick my fro out. Oh, wow. You know, oh, or wow. a cake cutter. Yeah. And, um, and I often thought back then that I, I wondered when you go to the greeting card shop and you see all the white people on the, on the card pictures, I often wondered, what if these were all black people? Would mm -hmm. white people think it's okay? I'll just give this to mom. Right. You know, it's right. got black people on it, whatever. You know, but a lot of times I bought cards with white people on them mm -hmm. because they, they weren't available. Right. Now they're, mm -hmm. they're more available. What are your thoughts? Do you have memories of not being included in? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the conversation that you're having is very important. And it's actually a conversation that I was engaged in recently with my um, history class. Yes. And I was sharing with them that when I was a child, um, there was we did not have black history. It was just American history. That's right. Mm -hmm. that. And the only teachings that involved black people was Dr. Martin Luther King mm. and slavery. Right. Yeah. And I shared with them how that really shaped my um, image about myself and my relationship with white people. Mm. Because um, all I knew at that time was that, that white people took black people from their homeland and made us slaves. Mm. And that made me very resentful. Right. And I could not really relate to my, the history. Who, how did I fit in to history? How did my, how, how was my heritage represented? And it wasn't in that teaching at that time. Mm. Now, of course, that has changed. Um, and so now we, we, we are familiar, we hear about lots of ways. And that positive stories other positive than Positive ways, mm -hmm. positive ways that African Americans contributed to um, history, even in slavery time. Sure. But oh, we yeah. did not 
receive that those teachings. Right. So that's very important. Also, I think about our children that are in foster care, mm -hmm. who unfortunately there that's are a right. very there are limited resources in the community, and and too often our children, our brown skinned children, are placed in rural communities right. where there are no there's no one else that looks like them. That's right. And so then. How do they, how, where do they fit in? How do they fit? That's right. Um, and so, yes, being able to look around and see people that look like me, that think like me, that talk like me, it's important. Now, yeah. we don't limit ourselves there. No. But right. that is definitely important um, for even as adults. So also we know that's important for kids. Yep, and as you mentioned about something as everyday as hair care products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You right. know, that's, that's really important because um, um, us, as human beings, we're so diverse, we're so varied, one size just does not that's fit right. all. Right. There are specific right. things that, that are for specific uh, hair, hair um, you know, textures, um, for specific makeup, mm -hmm. you know, all right. these sorts of things. Right, so, yeah. right, right. And we just, I'm just going to uh, surmise all that, but when um, the standard of beauty in, a, in this Western culture is blonde hair and blue eyes, mm -hmm. and the further you get away from that, the less beautiful, you know, people, I'll say white people, think, seem to think you are. So, I mean, or maybe, you right, know, perhaps right. everybody's woke now. We're starting to understand right, better. Right. But that's why my daughter just tries to um, show my granddaughters images beautiful images of black women so yes. they don't try to strive to be, have something they can't. Right. But then, of course, I dye my hair blonde and everybody's a little bit mixed up. No. <laughs> 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 this is so I don't have to go gray, okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we want to just end that conversation and hopefully um, us giving that some air is a little helpful to somebody mm -hmm. because we had to give it air, Shaviva. We have to give it air because exposure is the best disinfectant. Yes. Amen. Birthday people, stick around. Vera, we heard you can sing. I don't know who told you that. But you just look like a singer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, since we're going on us. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. We had a great show last week, Shaviva. Yes, we did. Our guest was uh, Joyce Levingston and... Um, Talk about a powerhouse, how mm. this young woman finds the time to do all the various things that she does. Mm. And, you know, it was just very inspirational to, to talk to her. And some people, a conversation with them makes you feel more at ease about the next generation yes. having things in hand. Yes. So yes. she's certainly yes. one of those folks. Yes. yes, she is. And your niece, you know, did you happen to watch her Friday? I did. Yes. You were at Jubilee Church. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. that was nice. Oh, what I saw you nice. strutting down the... Girl. saw both of you strutting down the <laughs> fashion. <laughs> I might strut tonight. With, with my hater blockers on. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yes, I love my purchase from there. And she's doing great things, too. All right, and our ch um, we want to remind people to vote. Have you voted yes. yet? Oh, yes, I did. And it was yes. very simple, very it quick. Was. It was a very easy process, and I felt so empowered mm -hmm. to use my vote, to cast my vote. It, it, was, a, it, it was empowering. Yes. So, yes. I think it's fortunate, the area in which we live, that the super long lines and all of that stuff and shutting down... Um, you know, polling places is not mm -hmm. an issue here right. like it is in some places. Mm -hmm. And that said, um, all the more reason to take advantage um, of the fact that that's not that same struggle. By yes. all means, get out oh. there, vote. Your vote makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And our change going to come. I know one thing that we talked about um, in voting, and we had a post on that, that there used to be people that got, the landlords would kick the tenants out of their mm. house if they heard anything about them even registering to vote. Mm. And so um, I'd like to say that we don't have a change going to come, but change did, has come. It's yes. not quite that bad now. Right, no. right, no. right. And I'm reading people are waiting in lines four, six hours yes. in the bigger communities mm -hmm. to vote. I know that on the first day um, I was down there for business, and the line was, it was long. I'm mm -hmm. sure they were waiting a couple of hours. But mm -hmm. when I went this week, the line was not as long. So. At the courthouse? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes, the first day. It was, it, there were a lot of people the first day. Yes. Um, 
Um, but, but so go out and vote. You can early vote. There's no reason to wait until the third. We can, uh, we can That's vote right. early. Yes. That's right. Get it done like yes. I did. And you, like you said, I felt so good because I, I really had that did. on my list just like that census. I had mm -hmm. that on my list forever to do. And then finally, once I got it done, it was like, oh, I feel like so my civic duty. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. What else we got, Shabiba? We want to shout out to Ed for crawling on his hands and knees and giving us That's our microphone. Right. Oh, my Go God. Go Ed. Yeah, Ed rocks. We love Ed. We don't know what we do yeah, without Yeah, we love him. Agnes, too. Okay, yeah, He's Agnes great. is fun. She's la She laughs at Ed. Right. <laughs> Sometimes I hear her on Ed's mic. mic she's laughing. <laughs> right. Or telling jokes. Yeah. Okay. So we want to... Ask Vera, we know you know the drill. And we oh, know yes. that by now, <laughs> Miss Reverend, because you know she ain't going to lie because she's a preacher, right? That's right. Do you subscribe? <laughs> Look at her. She, to the Soul Town. I do not. Okay. I do of not. Of course, you wouldn't okay. tell a story. But you, but you know about the Soul Town. I know yes, that's I do. for sure. Um, from one of Waterloo's own. A beautiful publication that um, we enjoy looking at and talking about every month. And for that matter, we enjoy talking about it every week every to week. put the word out about how great it is. This latest edition, again, is saying goodbye to Chadwick Boseman, mm. uh, iconic young actor in just a very short time, really made an impact. Um, yes. There, There's so many other things in here. Um, by different writers from all across the country. Well, you know what I like about it, too, is that the Soul Town is full of Waterloo. So mm -hmm. if you, I mean, we got Priscilla Culp that's a writer now. Mm -hmm. We have uh, uh, Big Q, you know, from the yes. candy store. He's yes. a writer. Oh. And Latanya Gray's from the NAACP mm -hmm. is a writer. Dr. Rainey. Dr. David Aren't Rainey. You, are you a writer? Yes. And Shaviva and I were both. In we the, were. Yeah. Okay. We'll say, we'll say we're alumni. Okay. <laughs> right. okay. Writing alumni. Okay. Yes. Okay. But you can watch Boom Shakalaka. Just press play virtually. As you see, we got a big color picture there. <laughs> so we are definitely uh, one of the contributing artists. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. Get your copy today, everybody. Right, Shaviva? That's right. Go to thesoultown.com. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Ms. Vera, Shaviva's got some hard questions for you. Mm. She writes a question, so I'm going to go ahead and have at her, Shaviva. Okay. <laughs> now I was going to say for those maybe two or three people who don't know who you are, okay. just talk, us, talk to us a little bit about Vera. <laughs> well, first I want to thank you all for the warm welcome. Oh. I appreciate you. I appreciate the offer to be here. And I appreciate the way that you all celebrate sisterhood. Okay. So I well, am I am Vera Wallachan, born and raised right here in Waterloo, East High graduate. Yay. Go Trojans. Go Trojans. Right. Um, you and I graduate. <laughs> Go Panthers. Okay. Um, and now I'm working on my Master of Divinity at um, Luther Seminary in St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm a child protection worker with the Department of Human Services. 28 years I've been there, four more wow. years and I can retire, but hey, who's counting when you're having this much fun? Right. Okay. And you're okay. for so many young people, and yeah, it's great to have you there. And I am an ordained minister and the founder and president of Celebrate Sisterhood Ministries. We are a new ministry. Um, we are a nonprofit organization. We were um, just received our nonprofit status in February, and then March, the pandemic. Mm. Uh, the pandemic. Um, but even in the pandemic, God has allowed us to do um, some work, much needed work here in the community. And so we're, uh, we're excited to um, celebrate sisterhood at our upcoming Women Empowering Women Conference on Saturday. Um, August, I'm sorry, Saturday, October 31st, mm -hmm. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., and it is going to be on Zoom, and these two magnificent, beautiful women are oh. have graciously <laughs> agreed to be our hosts. Well, we need to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> I'm just do, do we need witnesses or do we need no. to go off the air? Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is terrible. Agnes is going to laugh because, okay, 
Here's the problem. I'll probably come over to your house, Shaviva. But you know, I tried to sign up and get internet. I don't have internet in my house. So I use my hotspot, which right. works fine most of the time, right? Until it, until it doesn't. <laughs> until I'm like <laughs> frozen on the screen. <laughs> yeah, the hot. But no, we, we will. And I'm working on getting a new internet server because my old one just, I just got it yesterday. Me and Shaviva tried working on it. It and was janky. It set up. Ed so. might be able to come over. And Ed, you got to come <laughs> over. <laughs> hold, an, hold an antenna outside your back door or something. Right. I think Travis will be here this weekend, so I'll see if I can't get him to help me. But, yeah, we'll be there somehow by hook or by crook. So you all know we were supposed to be at the Hilton in Cedar Falls. Oh. And, I mean, our hearts were just overflowing with joy mm. um, at the vision of being at such a beautiful, elegant place. Yeah. But with the coronavirus, it yeah. is not safe. You've got it to It is be not safe. safe. That's right. Um, but then you just shift. Good you call. just make a shift. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to be online. Um, if you go on our Facebook page, Celebrate Sisterhood Ministries, you will see the registration link, or you can go on my page, which is public, Vera Wallachin. There's a registration link there as well. Mm -hmm. Or email us at celebrate sisterhood 19 at gmail.com, and we will gladly register you. Our theme is my purpose, mm -hmm. my presence has purpose, and my purpose has power. Mm, so with everything that. that yeah, with everything yes. that we're going through, we all have probably experienced some mm, moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is just an opportunity to come together as sisters to celebrate Christ's love and laughter. So we are excited, mm, and rightfully so. We are excited as well. And you know, God knows all that we're going through. Yes. And I think that the virtual event is the right solution. Good call because yes. we cannot emphasize how safe we have to be. Right. We're going into a rough time with the flu season yes, coming we are. up yes, we and are. all of that. So I'm yes. really happy. Can, can you tell us about how this, I mean, what is the conference? How did you establish this Celebrate Sisterhood? So Celebrate Sisterhood was a vision that God gave me years ago, but I'm going to be honest, it was, it was fear that kept me back. Hmm. And two years ago, God just nudged me out of that space of Won't fear. Won't he do it? <laughs> and I went to two of my sisters and I said, hey, this mm. is the vision. Are you in? And they said yes, and we went running. Oh. And so every year we have the, the, the conference. So this is our third year having the conference. Our guests are Sister Rodrika Jones from Kentucky. She's going to talk about the power of our words. Oh, yeah. And then we have Sister Mandy Sullivan out of Cedar Rapids. She's going to talk about the power of your presence. Mm. And then our own Waterloo native, um, Sister Tamiko Whitaker is our keynote, oh, and she's going to speak lady. on the topic. She's going to speak on the topic of the power of your purpose, and I'm going to speak on the topic of the power of your mind. Because oh. everything about who we are starts in our mind, mm -hmm. and it is so easy in this season to feel defeated. Yes, it is to feel hopeless, and so we're going to talk about how do we how do we restore those positive thoughts connect that to our positive words, understand the power of showing up and being present to walk in your gift and in your purpose. Wow. Everyone is welcome. There is no charge. You just need to register to be a part. All right. I think we did that. Yes, we absolutely did. All and right. I hope so. I hope so, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, Ed, Ed got jokes Having now. a good laugh right now. But okay, yeah. do you have any more comments? We need to we need to read some comments and he gave us the five minute signal about two minutes Couple ago. Comments. Uh, Joyce Ann Wilder says I just love Vera. Ah, what I about love me, you too, Joyce? Joyce. <laughs> Joyce. <laughs> and then um, I think this goes back to your give it air. <laughs> Kathy Kachner said with families that have limited culture competency. Right. Yeah, back to your give it air. Yes, yes absolutely. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Yes, that's right. And Ed, can you reach in the back of the room or not? Because I have gifts for these two beautiful oh, ladies. Oh, oh wow. Um, at, the, at, at the conference, it is casual attire. If you have a positive or inspirational message t-shirt, please wear that. Like I'm wearing mine today. I, I am a t-shirt-aholic. Oh, my so I'm, I'm wearing mine These today. are the reason someone Thank you. feels loved, seen, welcome, heard.
heard, valued, appreciated, and respected. Yes. Wow. So this is not That's a dressy beautiful. occasion, but if you would, we want to create oh, a positive wow. atmosphere. If you have an inspirational message t-shirt, please wear that. And we will Aww. have prizes. And like I said, I want to bring gifts today for these two beautiful women Aww, on behalf of Celebrate you. Sisterhood. It's Just saying cool. thank you wow. for celebrating sisterhood with me today. Oh, bless you. Thank you so there's much. There's some more stuff that you can you. Oh, yes. my. Yep. She says there's more. Oh, well, okay. Well, you <laughs> can come back to our show anytime. Uh, no. <laughs> so thank you so much for the, for the invitation. Oh, I appreciate you. you. I appreciate you. God bless both of you. Thank and you. what you're doing here. Thank you. thank you. Yeah, and thank you. Uh, bless you, and thank you for inviting us to be your hosts of yeah. this wonderful event. I can't wait to hear the speakers, and yes. it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, right, thank indeed. You. All right, so now it's almost at that time to sing the birthday song. <laughs> <Jamila. laughs> almost. <laughs> Save the best for last, right? <laughs> and I'm sure you would agree. We haven't read the birthdays yet. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're not good at it yet. So that's a good one, Shamima. But Tyler Brenniger. We got William Corey Mohammed, that young man. Yes. Agewu Agbese. Marla Cryenbrink, our friend. Gloria Hintz, our friend. Lonnie Gillum, my goddaughter. Yes, Lonnie. my granddaughter. Yes, and your husband. That's right, mm -hmm. Jeff Ferguson. Jeffrey Kathy Ferguson. <laughs> okay, we We're got Kathy deep. Keaton, mm. Ed Gaines, Heidi Hoff Morrissey, hey, Heidi. Demetrius Harrington, yes. Raynetta Trawick, hey, Ray. and Neil Lynn. Okay. To Neil. Right, so yes. I'm sure you would agree. It couldn't fit more perfectly <laughs> than to have a world party on the day you came to be. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. All right. All right. That was fun. Okay. We decided to kind of incorporate some of the other verses in. Okay. I love that little, that uh, intro. Yeah. Oh. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Next time, get up and dance. Oh, okay. Now, that's a thought. <laughs> Do a little birthday dance. We have to have accompaniment by Ed. Accompaniment by Ed. With Ed. That's right. Okay. Well, I guess it's time to sign off. And we've had a lot of fun. Yes. Um, hopefully... Got some dialogue going for other people to think about. Yes. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you'll join us for that virtual event. Yes. 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 And how, how long can, can, can people um, register? People can register. Women can register up to the day of. It is free. There is absolutely no charge at all. And the first person that registers after th this show, I have an amazing prize for them. I love giving out prizes and gifts. We so do the first that. person to register after this show, I have a very beautiful prize for you. <gasps> you oh, hear wait. that? Better get registered. You don't want to miss this show. No, you absolutely don't. This has been another wonderful show. Once again, thank you so much for thank being you, our guest. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my sister. Yes. And we're going to celebrate sisterhood mm -hmm. and peoplehood. Red people, blue people, all the people, Republicans, Democrats, everybody. Keep doing more of what makes you awesome. Because it makes us all, all look, look good. good. All right. See you next time. God bless.